Hey guys, here's a quick video showing my new build that I'm working on. I got the Strider 250mm FPV quad. If you guys haven't heard about this, check out RedRotorRC.com. They got this sweet little Strider and it's an awesome little frame. It's pretty much for the value in its class range. It has a built-in uh, OSD, you get the little crosshairs, you get the RSSI signal, you get the telemetry with the battery voltage, very nice. You get the siren, so if you lose it, you flick a switch, the beeper comes on, which or the buzzer comes on, which is very nice, and you can also tog toggle on and off the um, LED lights that's built into the distribution board. So it's 3S and 4S compatible. Very nice. Also, the frame supports a 5 or a 6 inch props without having to purchase any additional arms or optional arms. Very nice. So I'll keep this uh, un you know overview and un kind of unbagging on the next video. This video just showing more of the electronics that I'll be using for this build. I got the Glacier 4S 1300 milliamp hour batteries. These batteries have been working really good so far and Buddy RC got some pretty good uh, batteries because they have this little um, plastic cover over the balance connector so you don't break it off. Uh, I got the T motors, the 2204s, these are the 2300 kV motors. I got my electronics and batteries from UAV RC, you guys can check it out, here's my receipt uav-rc.com I love these guys they're local and they always have stuff when I want them because when I want to buy stuff I want to get in a hurry and I hate to wait for the slow you know mailman to deliver some of my packages but yeah T motors I got the Nays 32 acro boards I actually got two of these for my next build too I got the little SMA extension so that way I can put my video transmitter in the frame extend it out and have the antenna on the rear of this frame which I'll show you guys in the next video so that way when I crash, having too much fun, I don't break off my video transmitter. <laughs> and over here are these tiny little KISS 18 amp speed controls. You guys can see, this thing is tiny. It's like, it's smaller than my finger and I have a small finger. You can see, I have one that's already open. But these are tiny little speedos right here. I think four of those and these are like less than two grams for the board. So very, very cool. I got some receivers, FR Sky receivers. These are the eight channels that's, that's compatible with Futaba. So I can use S-Bus or just regular channels and also has the RSSI signal. I'm not sure if it works or not. I just saw it was Futaba compatible. So I got these from a ready-made RC. Um, yeah. And over here, I got a assortment of props. I got the five by four and a half inch bullnose HQ props and also the six inch uh, by four and a half. So I'll try those out. I'm not sure exactly which one I'll go first. We'll go with what first, but I'll probably try the five by four, you know, four and a half bullnose because these props work excellent on my ZMR frame. You can see you got some cool ready made stickers. Ready made, awesome. They have a, tons of cool FPV equipment, FPV gear and a large variety of FPV quadcopters too. So yeah, be sure to check out ReadyMadeRC, uav-rc.com, and also redrotorrc.com. I'll, I'll also post up you know all three links in the description box below. So that was a quick video showing my new uh, project that I'm working on. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and be sure to stay tuned if you guys want to follow up on the unbagging of the Red Rotor RC Strider 250mm FPV Racer Quad. Pretty long, so I'll keep it there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.